The joke has always been that there are lots of ups and downs in level measurement, but there seems to be even more of it these days. In fact, the relative use of different level measurement and tank gauging technologies appears to be shifting almost as fast as the physical levels in the vessels where those devices are used. Of course, level measurement methods have been diversifying for many years, but the migration to some of the newer technologies seems to be picking up steam lately, especially for level measurement using wireless. Hi, I'm Jim Montague, Executive Editor of Control Magazine and ControlGlobal.com, and this is another Control Market Intelligence Report from the Process Automation Media Network. The topic for this report is level instrumentation. Endress and Hauser's instruments cover high-level applications as well as standard instrumentation in process automation in level, pressure, flow, temperature, liquid analysis, and data acquisition in all kinds of industries. We distributed the survey on which this market intelligence report is based this past winter and collected more than 120 responses in January. Here are some of the most significant results we gathered. Now, as I said before, the big news in level measurement is wireless. For example, while only 13% of 2009's respondents say they've installed wireless tank gauging systems in their plants, more than 16.5% of this year's respondents have done it. Likewise, while only 28% of 2009's respondents said they planned to install wireless tank gauging systems in the next 12 to 18 months, more than 34% of this year's respondents are planning to do it. Perhaps most significantly, more than 49% of this year's respondents are using or plan to use the wireless heart communication standard, while only 41% were using or plan to use it in 2009. Besides the recent emergence of wireless, there are plenty of other diversity-fueled technological shifts going on in level measurement. For instance, while differential pressure remains the most used level technology, its overall prevalence as most used declined slightly from 41% in 2009 to 38.5% this year. Likewise, respondents who said float or other mechanical devices were their most used level measurement method also dropped from 16% in 2009 to 12.6% this year, while guided wave radar, hydrostatic, and RF admittance or capacitance also declined slightly as most used level methods. Meanwhile, respondents who reported that ultrasonic was their most used level technology swelled from 10% in 2009 to 14% this year, and open-air radar jumped from 6% in 2009 to 11% now. Similarly, while differential pressure remains the most preferred level method for close to two-thirds of respondents, those who prefer guided wave radar dropped from 59% in 2009 to 50% this year, and those who prefer open-air radar jumped from 23% in 2009 to 38% now. Likewise, Use of point-level devices in tank-level applications generally seems to be shrinking, though there were increases in some areas. Users with more than half of their tanks using point-level decreased from 13% to 11%, while those with only 0 to 10% using point-level jumped from 30 to 43%. Most of those with 11 to 50% using point-level also declined slightly, though those with 31 to 50% point-level increased slightly. However, those using continuous level equipment in their tanks seems to be on the upswing. For instance, respondents using continuous equipment for more than half their tank applications jumped from 60% in 2009 to 73% in 2011, and those using 31 to 50% continuous devices increased from 12% in 2009 to 15% this year. Meanwhile, those using smaller percentages of continuous level all declined slightly. Finally, this year's respondents also seem to be using or planning to use more backup level equipment. For example, 35% now report they're presently using backup level technology or plan to use it in the next 12 to 18 months. But in 2009, only 30% said they use or plan to use backup level devices. What remains nearly unchanged is that 21% of respondents still don't know what backup level technology is. This has been another Control Market Intelligence Report from the Process Automation Media Network. I'm Jim Montague. Thanks for watching.